Daylight bringing a scene of devastation here at the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore after it collapsed into the water early this morning after being hit by a vessel. This is as close as officials will let us get to the scene. The bridge is about a mile down this road. Now, officials are stressing that this is an open investigation, but they do not believe it is terrorism related. Water search and rescue efforts are ongoing, and they are looking for six people, they say, part of a work crew that was filling potholes on the bridge at the time of the collapse. Two members of that crew were rescued. One was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Another refused treatment at the scene. In the meantime, fire officials tell Scripps News that sonar indicates there are more vehicles under the surface of the water. Whether anyone was in those vehicles is not clear at this point. Here's what we know so far. At around 1.30 this morning, a Singaporean cargo vessel called Dali appears to have possibly lost power and hit one of the main support pillars of the key bridge. That somehow caused the entire bridge to collapse into the waters below. The crew of that vessel that hit the bridge has been accounted for. They managed to send out a mayday alert before hitting the bridge, which officials say may May have saved lives by preventing traffic from crossing the bridge. The bridge is about a mile and a half long. It opened in 1977 and it's named the Key Bridge because this is where Francis Scott Key was inspired to write the words that later became the Star Spangled Banner. The bridge is part of Interstate 695, that beltway again that runs around the city of Baltimore. Interstate 95 is just down the road from here. This is one of the busiest traffic corridors in the country, part of the Northeast Corridor. So there's vehicular traffic here and shipping traffic here at the Port of Baltimore, which has now come to a standstill because of this bridge collapse. In the meantime, there is an active search and rescue effort underway to see if there are any additional survivors of this bridge collapse. Maya Rodriguez, Scripps News, Baltimore.